Tonight, Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi report striking a deal of sorts with Donald Trump at dinner at the White House. But now the White House is disputing at least part of that deal. President Trump has been falsely reported to have made a deal with Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi to extend the debt ceiling and fund the government th for three months. The false part of the report is that it was a deal. It was a surrender by Donald Trump. He did not make a deal. He simply accepted what Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi offered. That's not a deal. If you walk into McDonald's and the price of a Big Mac is listed as $5.30 and you buy a Big Mac for $5.30, you did not make a deal on a Big Mac. If you buy it for 5 bucks, then maybe you made a deal on a Big Mac. There's a word in Washington for what happened in Donald Trump's meeting with Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi and Mitch McConnell and Paul Ryan about the debt ceiling and the budget. And that term is rolled. Donald Trump got rolled by Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi. That's what they call it in Washington when you go into a meeting with the other side and the other side gets everything they want and you get nothing. Donald Trump had another meeting with the other side tonight when he invited Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi to dinner at the White House without their Republican counterparts, Mitch McConnell and Paul Ryan. So the most conservative right-wing president in history with no experience in government meets tonight with liberal Nancy Pelosi and liberal Chuck Schumer, both of whom have decades of experience in government. And now we have dueling statements from Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi versus White House spokesperson about what actually happened during that dinner. That's next. Here's what Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi said in a joint statement tonight about their dinner with Donald Trump at the White House. We had a very productive meeting at the White House with the president. The discussion focused on DACA. We agreed to enshrine the protections of DACA into law quickly and to work out a package of border security excluding the wall that's acceptable to both sides. Joining us now, Jonathan Capehart, an opinion writer for The Washington Post and an MSNBC contributor, and back with us, Ron Klain. And the amendment to, uh, to this, uh, Jonathan, comes from uh, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders tweeting, while DACA and border security were both discussed, excluding the wall was certainly not agreed to. Who are we going to believe? I, well, I mean, the White House has no credibility when it comes to like believing anything that comes out of there. It, but it's interesting that that comes out because when the news broke that there was a deal on DACA mm -hmm. and other things with no mention of the wall and that it was another Chuck and Nancy deal, part of me wondered, wait, are they trying to jam the president to ensure that he does do a deal mm -hmm on DACA that also doesn't include the border wall. I wonder if this is some very like superb Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi negotiating in public because now the White House is now on the defensive trying to defend trying to right. say like no 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 we're going to do the border wall but are they really Well you know Ron in my experience uh, the 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 experienced players like Schumer and Pelosi do not mischaracterize yeah. what is actually said because they want to continue to have credible meetings with their counterparts yeah. in government. And so, uh, I mean, to Jonathan's point of wouldn't it be smart for them to say this even if Trump maybe did not specifically agree to it, my reading of it based on these players is that Trump did agree to this at the table. And now after the dinner and after that statement came out from Schumer and Pelosi, everybody in the White House is telling him, you've got to run away from this. Yeah, it's just more evidence that the White House staff can't leave President Trump unsupervised. <laughs> uh, I absolutely believe Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, they are experienced, they have credibility. They are not going to see the president, they're not gonna say the president agreed to something unless the president agreed to it. Uh, but clearly, he left that meeting. He told his staff what they agreed to. And it took only 17 minutes from the time that Chuck and Nancy put out that statement till Sarah Sanders put out a statement saying, oh, no, 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 no. So, uh, you know, now uh, you know, the White House has no credibility. 
president has backed off that. But that's half the deal. I think the other thing, Lawrence, we're going to have to dig into is what exactly was agreed to for the Dreamers. Mm -hmm. Did the president agree to support the DREAM Act, which not only lets the Dreamers stay in the country, but gives them a path to citizenship? So there's a lot of questions unanswered tonight. The one thing we know for sure is that once again, you put two experienced people in the room with Donald Trump, and uh, he's not going to come out of that in good shape. And the president did not go directly to bed after dinner, and I know that because I'm reading two tweets now that he has tweeted, the re and they're completely unrelated. One says China has a business tax rate of 15 percent. We should do everything possible to match them in order to win our economy, jobs and wages. The other one is about crooked Hillary Clinton blames everybody and everything but herself for election loss. She lost the debate. She lost the direction. Now, Jonathan, the reason this is relevant is that Donald Trump's got the Twitter machine right there in his hands. Mm -hmm. He can back up Sarah Sanders' tweet right now yeah, and sure say, could. Chuck and Nancy are lying. I never agreed to this wall thing. But you're absolutely right. He could do that. And in fact, you remind me that President Trump, we've seen this pattern before where people will say something like Chuck and Nancy are doing. He agreed to DACA, he agreed to this, he, no border wall. And then the administration sees, oh my God, what have you done? And then they try to backfill it. But the die is cast. We know what's happening. I mean, we saw what happened when the original DACA thing happened. Sessions goes out there, makes this announcement, and then the president goes and he tweets and says, I'll revisit if, the, if, Congress, mm -hmm. if Congress doesn't do it. But... If the president really didn't agree to the border wall, Mr. President, I'm assuming you might be watching, now's the time to do what Lauren says and tweet it out saying, no, absolutely, Sarah Sanders is, is right. I, I, I'm waiting. Okay. Uh, would you monitor that for us? Ron, uh, so let's just assume for the moment that within the next 24 hours, Trump himself tweets something about not agreeing. And apparently he's just, I'm told in my ear, he's just tweeted again, uh, this one's about not the border wall, the deplorables, <laughs> blah, 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 Hillary, okay, great, you can get rid of that. Yeah. So, Ron, so, Ron, uh, let's say he eventually gets around to tweeting, no, I didn't make an agreement about the wall. What Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer saw tonight, as they've seen already, is how easy it is to get this president to cave, to completely surrender, and they know, no matter how tough he wants to pretend he might play on the border wall in the future, he is not tough and doesn't know how to play tough in the White House. Well, that's true, Lawrence, but it's a problem if President Trump takes this back because, you know, he, he, the only hope he has left of saving his presidency is an art of the deal presidency. And if he looks the two Democratic leaders in the eye over dinner, and I'm told it was Chinese food because he thought they would agree on Chinese trade, if that's what he did tonight and uh, tries to take that back, who will he possibly deal with? He has flamed out his relationships with Mitch McConnell and Paul Ryan. He's flamed out his relationships with other Republicans and the Congress. Uh, he made this one successful deal with Chuck and Nancy. Uh, he made a deal tonight. He's going to have to honor that deal. Uh, Jonathan Capehart, I, I don't think <laughs> there's anyone in the White House who's saying to him, you have to honor what you said at this dinner tonight. Yeah, and what's interesting here is like we're lauding this, this deal or whatever it is, but we're not talking about the very people who are going to have to make sure that the deal is honored, and that is House Speaker Paul Ryan Correct. and Senate Majority Correct. Leader Mitch McConnell. Where are they on this? What are they going to say? And then, especially for Speaker Ryan, how on earth is he going to get his raucous caucus to pass a bill that would honor this deal? And, Ron, uh, what we know within the culture of the Congress is that Paul Ryan tonight is feeling absolutely no obligation to lift a finger to anything that was discussed where he was not present. That's true, Lawrence, but I would say this. Paul Ryan also was reported this week to have privately told Republican supporters that even he thinks the wall is stupid. I mean, the wall is a classically stupid idea. <laughs> Unless Donald Trump has a plan to ban ladders in North America, the wall is not going to work. And so maybe this is just an opportunity for them to finally bury this Trump idea that doesn't work. As you said earlier, we got a lot of needs in our country to rebuild from these disasters. Spending $20 billion on a wall is just nuts. Jonathan, you're going to continue to monitor that Twitter machines yep. if anything happens. Jonathan Capehart and Ron Klein, thank you 
both for joining us. Thanks, really appreciate Thank it. you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.